What are closing costs and who pays for them? Closing costs are fees paid at the closing of a real estate transaction. This point in time called the closing is when the title to the property is conveyed to the buyer. Both buyer and seller will have their own closing costs to pay. When the buyer asks the seller to pay for their portion of their closing costs, that's called seller concessions. There can be many fees associated with closing, and it can vary state to state or lender to lender. If seller concessions are negotiated with the seller to pay for the buyer's closing costs, that seller can only contribute up to a certain percentage of that mortgage value. That percentage is determined by the loan type, occupancy, and down payment. A few fees for the seller's closing costs can include agent commission, transfer taxes, title insurance, prorated property taxes, HOA fees, seller attorney fees, and any escrowed money promised to the buyer. A few fees associated with the buyer's closing are appraisal fee, inspection fee, loan origination fee, credit report fee, attorney fee, prepaid interest, prepaid insurance, title insurance, tax servicing fee, bank processing fee, recording fee, and maybe even a notary fee. These are just a few examples. There may be other fees associated with the closing as well. Closing costs are due at the closing after both parties have signed all documents. If you would like a breakdown of all your fees, please reach out to the lender, title company, or closing attorney. Once again, this is just a brief overview of closing costs. If you want to know what closing costs are in your area, reach out to your local real estate professional. It varies state to state and lender to lender. I hope this helps and I hope you're informed.